Hey there, hi there Aquarius, and welcome to your weekly reading. So up first we have your past life oracle card. So let's see what your past life was about. We have baby. Aw, baby, so cute. Alright, so let's see what this baby card is all about. The situation you're inquiring about involves an infant on some level. Your unconscious mind will reveal the way in which the, a baby plays a role in your current life. You may have already received the answer in the form of a thought or feeling. Trust this information as your unconscious mind will slowly and gently help you remember and release painful memories. At first, you may think you're imagining this information, but as you put together more pieces of the puzzle through signs and additional recollections, You'll feel confident in claiming your past lifetime. This card can speak about you as a baby in this or previous lifetime. There may have been a trauma that you suffered as a baby or that involved a baby of yours in that lifetime. It also may describe parenthood in this or previous lives. Your feelings and thoughts will guide you so that you can discern the specific meaning. Alrighty, so something to do with a baby. Either a literal baby or more of like a metaphorical baby. Um like infancy that sort of thing um let's see what your fairy message is wait for winter okay so wait for winter all right during maybe you have a baby due in winter maybe you are a winter baby um let's see during the colder months the fairy queen of winter will help you manifest your most Heartful wishes, as long as your intentions are for the highest good of all. And even though we're in the month of March right now, I don't know what state you're in, but if you're in, like, New York and that area, there's still a lot of winter everywhere, a lot of snow everywhere. Um, so this, again, can be literal. It can be uh, metaphorical. Take it how it resonates, okay? So let's explore that. Um, wait for winter a little bit deeper. Wait for winter. Okay, let's see here. Wait for winter. Wishes or spiritual seeds made in your heart will come through fruitation during the winter months, emerging like winter berries, ripe and full of promise. The fairy queen of winter with snowflakes on her wings comes to remind you to keep your faith, to remember all that all wishes like seeds grow in darkness until they're ready to burst forth into the light. Are you ready to receive your wishes? Part of the wishing process is to prepare yourself for their manifestation. This could involve removing any psychic ties or spiritual obstacles that have been holding you back from full realization and birthing of your dreams in the earthly realm. Wherever you live in the world, you'll know the Fairy Queen of Winter is nearby when the weather turns cooler or when you see snowdrops pushing up through the snow. This is a sign that your wishes, too, are soon to bloom. Remember that our wishes don't always manifest in the way we've in we've in envisioned. Um, they will come to be in whichever way is perfect for all concerned and for the highest good of all. Be especially receptive to any ideas or inspiration that flow into your mind around the magical time of winter. It's also the time to practice divination using winter-related mediums such as snowflakes or ice. If you live in a country that has cold winters, if you don't, you can use ice cubes. Okay? Alrighty. So... Let's see here what your rose oracle is. We've got the scientist. Okay. That makes a lot of sense since your winter fairy is basically like telling you to like work with divination, um, you know, working with like snow and that sort of thing, ice cubes if you don't live in a cold area, icicles. I don't know much about that, but... Uh, if you're channeling that scientist energy, it looks like you're going to be able to figure that one out for sure. Okay. Alrighty, now if you have a question for this week, we're going to find the answer right now. It's either going to be a yes or a no. Let's find the answer to your question. Okay. 
we have the chariot determination travel self-discipline mastery and willpower so whatever you're facing this week you're definitely going to have the discipline and the mastery and the willpower to overcome any conflicts any misdirection any dispute any forceful powerless um, forces that are making you feel powerless your answer to your question is yes so you're going to be able to overcome any obstacles you face this week Aquarius that's awesome and amazing um, hopefully that was the answer you were looking for um, and love and light you always have an awesome week bye don't forget to like and subscribe